Good morning. Welcome back to Shady Lane Acres. I'm Jason. I'm Mickey. Today, hopefully going to be a big day. Get a lot done. We'll see. Usually starts out with the tensions. But we got a lot to do in the garden today. Uh, we're going to pick our potatoes and our carrots. And we're going to start spreading. We got about, let's see, we made five trips, seven yards. So we got about 35 yards of wood chips to spread out on the garden. Uh, we got to do a little trimming and weeding around some of it to get it to where we're going to go. And we'd have no idea how far it's going to go. It doesn't look like it's going to go very far. <laughs> yeah. Their piles are about as tall as I am, but we got a big garden. Yeah. So that's where we're going to be today is working on that. I guess the first thing we got to do is we got these... Uh, Get screens. Off him. We're gonna put some. Uh, we're gonna put some chicken wire on them, so that we can put our potatoes and carrots on there to dry. So that's kind of our first little task. Do you want to show them the new addition? Well, uh, had a friend come over and give us a couple cats yesterday. That's Doof. Doof and Schmerz. and I don't know. Master somewhere. And then Master something. So, all everybody's all chilling out in the yard. Okay, so how are we gonna go about doing this? I'm gonna hold it. You're gonna snip it, well, or we'll, we'll staple it on, and then. So now we probably want to pull about as tight as we can this way, I suppose. I figure it's going to need to be halfway strong because the potatoes will hopefully add up to a lot of weight. Yeah, hopefully. Because we get four potatoes. If we don't get four potatoes out of that, I'll be mad. Like, we got a lot last year. Well, I, actually, I just stopped eating them this week. Did we? Well, we also don't eat a lot of potatoes. Not always. Sometimes. Well, we probably need to learn to. We need to start making more big potatoes and twice bakes and French yeah. our own French fries instead of buying. Yeah. It'd be like that. I'd like to learn how to make tater tots because I make a lot of tater tot casserole. Yeah. That's true. I missed. I also wonder if I can just make tater tot casserole and just put mashed potatoes on top. You know, and then oh, broil wouldn't that, them. Wouldn't that be shepherd's pie? No. It had mashed potatoes. Or it had... Uh, Green beans and beans, beans. Yeah. It's completely different. Without the carrots and the peas and the, yeah, completely different. Problem is, Jay, is uh, like when it goes like that, it's going to move back and forth. Don't you need to be going this well, way? Well, so can... I'm hoping it's tight enough that it's not going to. Okay. And that there's enough of them because it's tight. Yeah. I just didn't know, like, you still have slag or slack if it. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be some slack. You just can't get it all out. Yeah. And I'll do the sides too once we get yeah. the. Now, now once we pull the top fairly tight, I hope it's a lot more breeze in the garden. Or it's gonna be a fairly long day of sweating. How hot was it supposed to be today? I don't remember. I thought it was mid 80s. That's or not just, bad. Or we're just sitting where there's no wind at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot and a bad spot. Probably way overkill on the staples, but. And as long as we have enough to do both. Oh, I got a whole bag of them. Okay. So you probably just cut like, if you can cut like just a little bit past that spot. Right here? Yeah. And there's not much wire showing mm -hmm. to get caught on, but it's not going to unravel, hopefully. Probably don't need to hit every one on this one. You can trim this side now. I don't know where I at exactly, <gasps> but somewhere. You know, we set these on my sawhorses last year. Yeah, that would, uh, let's do that for the next one. Uh, we mean, no. Oh, you mean the ones that we... The saw horses that all got thrown away. Yeah, but we got the chairs in there. I know. I, I say we set them on there to dry stuff right. last I year. I thought you meant to work on this. I was like, yeah, the ground thing ain't so great. Look for some cheap ones on the junk jump. Oh, well, I just need to pick up some more of them plastic ones. They've gotten kind of expensive, though. Did they, they got damaged in the that windstorm? That windstorm, and they had a bunch of weight on them. They did? Uh, they had my 
carpet on it, and then when the carpet got wet, it... Oh, thing is, is like that. People need to find hobbies, or husbands and wives need to find hobbies together. It's like so many people get divorced after their kids are out of the house because they don't have anything in common. Yeah. So we thought we'd buy some really overpriced land and work ourselves to death. Yeah, well, after this morning, we might not be. <laughs> well, we might not Biggest be. thing is, like, we our time, we, I just can't have, not to can't have high expectations, you know, and stuff, but it's like, you got to give yourself some grace. It's like, this stuff is just insane when you're doing two full-time jobs. You know what? It'd probably be a lot smarter. Do you need me? No. I can do this, but I'm going to, uh, Oh, do this the one side. Oh, there you go. So now that we got the screens made for the potatoes, we are going to pull up our potatoes. We think. We think. We're, we're going to start. Yeah, we're going to pull up one and see how it is. Some are starting to yellow, but we don't know if it's because we didn't water them or if they're actually time. We are right at no, we're one probably, yeah, hundred and some, some days. Yeah, and they say 90 days. First thing we gotta do, we put this up. We probably should have done some more filming when we was doing the garden, but we just didn't have time. We barely got- It was got storming that night we did that, trying yeah. to get it done, because well, the wind kept blowing all the hay out. Well, and that's what, the, that's what this is for. Yeah, this is to keep all the hay just in. Just to keep the hay in, because it kept blowing it out. Last year, our rows ran north-south, and I think that made a bigger difference. Yeah. As far as the hay coming out, and this year the, they're running east-west and it just kept blowing the hay out. So we did the roost out method again, and we actually did pull some of these potatoes or dug some of the hay out of here, and there was a lot of potatoes, so we're hopeful. The garden is pretty rough on weeds. We also planted three different types of potatoes. Three? We did russet. Red. Red, and then gold and Idaho. Oh, okay. So it goes you know the three and then or one two and three and stuff so kind of like what we did with the onions i did half red and half white but yeah so we're going to pull these up and see what we got and then hopefully we're going to move these wood chips this direction the one thing we will say though is that we did this to keep the hay in it but also it was horrible for the weeds and stuff and we planted our beets basically <laughs> right where that row of weeds is and so the beets were too wet and then also the onions are along there as well and the onions are way too wet as well. So we, next year, my goal is to do sections. Like this is onions, this, you know, like not rows. Oh, rows. Like I wanna do sections to kind of keep them a little bit away from all of this stuff, but. Well, and I don't know if we're gonna be doing this wood chip method, they don't put straw down. They just, yeah, correct. but I don't think, I don't think our soil will be good enough next year. Yeah. To not but I mean, do I don't want to do rows next year. Yeah. Like I want to do. That like, makes sense. Do because, a square. Yeah, because our beets, our our onions, are were horrible this year. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna pull up the fencing first, and then we'll start picking some. Start picking some potatoes and see what we got. This one's dead. These are the ones we pulled up. No potatoes. No potatoes. What do we got? Oh, here's a potato. And it's eaten by a mouse. Ooh. A whole bunch Ooh. Of uh, are we too late? Well, that's what the problem with this straw is, I think, is that the mice love to bed in it. That's all mouse eat. Aww. Well, let's hope they're not all like that, because that's where we dug it out. So let's grab them. Well, I got the pitchfork over there. I know. I remember, we don't want to get them with the pitchfork either. Do you want gloves? Uh, well, you're going to need to get pitchfork because they go down to the ground, baby. Well, those were on top of that. I'm just pulling the straw back. 
Oh, there's one. Oh! So, that's a potato! Well, if we get one potato per plant, this is going to be a really sad harvest. Yeah, it is. One potato! One potato. All right, I'll go grab the picture. Be real careful with it. I think you need to go straight down. That way you're going to get all of them. Well, that's what I didn't know. I ain't no potato farmer. Hey, these new pitchforks are crap. Yeah, I don't think they're real metal. Nice! These are our Idaho Reds. I'm gonna assume so. See, I don't know if they needed to... A little bit those longer? those grown longer. I don't know. Did I just do that? I did. Dang it. Okay, so you think I need to go down and pry up? Yes. Okay. How's that film over there? I mean, is it? Yeah, it should be getting us somewhat. Yeah, you don't need to. Oh, okay, this thing sucks. Is it not straight? Is it I broken? Just broke it. You just broke it? How'd you break it? I don't know. Actually, using it? Definitely. Doesn't it say pitchfork or is it something else? It's a bending mulch fork. Oh. A mulch fork. Probably not for ground then, huh? I don't know. Yeah, it's like you can't push on it because it's... Yeah. It's probably why it's that way because it's not... It's probably only meant to move mulch. Yep. Okay. Oops. Well, don't break it anymore. There you go. I'll hand them to you. You pick them off and put them in the wheelbarrow. Got more off the Yukon Golds than the Reds. That's all of the Reds from all the plants. They weren't too great. See, we could actually, like, if we wanted to try yep. to plant this year... Yep. Replant and get another harvest. Well, like you say, I don't know. Yeah, take all those little ones too because like that I can put them, use them for it. eyes. Yeah, I mean, that's just yep. it. I don't know what we want to do. That's a good plant though. It's pretty big. Exactly. You know, what we want to do with... Mm -hmm. If we want to try and get down another harvest this year. Probably because I expected gajillions. Well, we went seven feet. Judging. You're you just rolled over a potato. What's that? Did you see another one? Or is that the one you saw? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ground is really soft. Yeah. Yeah, if they would have wanted to grow down, they could have. Okay. After what? About three, three hours of not solid digging and no. harvesting. We're old, we need breaks. We got a wheelbarrow full of potatoes. That's probably 10 times what we got last year. Totally. Yeah, last year, <laughs> that little green basket, which was on the wheelbarrow, is what Jason gave me to get the other potatoes. Yeah, it's a little bit. So. He'll put a link up to our other potato harvest last year on here. Yeah, so pretty happy with that i'm ecstatic and then now i get to learn how to can potatoes can potatoes yeah can we freeze potatoes uh, i don't know they will last all year long if i keep them in a cool spot yeah that's true but and now we've got a few carrots left left to harvest i've already froze our first batch we don't have the best luck with carrots they just I don't know, they're so small and we get weeds so fast. But next year I want to do them in the raised bed so it's literally just them. So we're going to pick these and then once we do that, well, there will be nothing between this pile of wood chips and our marigolds. marigolds. And so we'll be able to spread the chips 
over all that. I don't know, a lot of people put down cardboard or newspaper or something like that, but I think we're, our garbage is too big for that. Oh my gosh, yeah. We would um, have to have a whole Amazon load of cardboard. Yeah, I don't know where we'd get that much cardboard. So we're gonna try this. We have a pretty substantial supply of wood chips I have access to and they're not really that expensive. So if we just need to put them on thicker, we'll put them on thicker. Yep. We'll start picking the... Yep. Oh. So our first batch of carrots was like really short and really like thick. I think what it is, is they have uh, the ground, you know, the top little bit of ground is tilled. fairly well tilled, but then they hit that harder ground and they yeah, just can't just grow down any. Huge. Big old fatties. So I've been chopping them up and we've been freezing them in smaller for like soups and things. So yeah. Yeah, but then you this get is, these little tiny ones. Yeah. But this is a hundred times better harvest than last year on the carrots. Oh yeah. Did we even get anything last year? I'm not sure we, no, I don't think we did get a single carrot. Ooh. I spent a lot of time on these, Yeah. This on my hip and my knees. Just That one's got a nice little figure. <laughs> uh, just weeding them, thinning them, replanting them where there was bare spots. I'd move, you know, when there were too many too close together just to try and get some sort of harvest and they're pretty good carrots yeah so. they are we had them last night with our roast yeah they turned out really good i mean that's just it the biggest thing is people need to realize when you're doing a garden is it's not going to look pretty like it is the grocery yeah. store you're going to have the deformed ones and i just cut off all the spots that the animals had eaten through and then i ate the rest well that's just it for the grocery store and stuff, they would they would just throw the, the bad ones away. Oh, look at that pretty one. She's grocery store worthy. Oh, well, that's a nice, that is a nice yeah, one. Yeah, she's nice. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, look at this one. Eh? Do, do, do. She's got nice legs. Hey, Perry. Come here, baby. There's one of our kitties, new kitties. He's pretty shy, and our other cat's kind of tormenting him, so he's been hiding in the garden. Yeah, these ones are really good. Not bad. The first ones we picked, they were just kind of smaller and stuff, but... Yeah, well, we had two different varieties, too. Oh, that's right, we did, didn't we? we so had... there's still, I think there's still some of them down here. Uh, I don't think so. We gotta save our pumpkin, don't forget. I think yeah. I picked those, that's right, I think I picked those ones Yeah, first. we picked all those, so. Yeah. All righty. Look that's at those. Pretty good little harvest for carrots. Better than last year. Better than last year, and that's if all we can go year, for. If every year we get a little bit better, that's all we can expect. So now, I'm gonna try and figure out how to clean up this mess. I was just gonna run the skid steer and skim off the top but the digging kind of left it lumpy and I'm afraid I'm gonna dig too much dirt. So I might, I might try my raking, how I put the bucket up and rake it. We'll see what happens. Well, we're gonna mow though first, right? I'm gonna get, I gotta get the, I gotta get the grass up or the, or the straw, straw up first okay. and then we'll come through with the mower. Okay. And just, we'll mow it high. Yep. And then, Hopefully, then that'll keep the weeds down and the chips will keep them all out all together.
taking all this over to the compost pile. I thought about just leaving it down, covering up wood chips. I think we'll be better off in the long run to let it compost down a little bit. Oh, got a bush on the end I just about ran over. So I think we're gonna call this good. You can see we're just kind of trying to get this little section between here and there. There is a pumpkin here that we're trying to save. I assume that the weeds that are still here in the grass, that should all break down, be compost underneath. So I'm gonna start pushing chips and see how far they go. I really hope they go further than I think, but who knows. Time to switch buckets. Caleb wanted to know if all the other homesteaders that we watch uh, have skid steers. <laughs> I was like, mm, no, not too many of them. I go, dad just likes to play with his toys. <laughs>